Welcome to our tutorial on the harmonica. In this episode, I would like to show you not the embouchure, but the embouchures to play the harmonica. In fact, there are many ways that we must know because they are important to play different possibilities and resources on the instrument. I will give you some tips and I will tell you some of the most common mistakes that you have to avoid. Come on! We have a lot of work. Among the topics dedicated to the instrument posture, Without any doubt, this is the one that uh, most of all will need the support from a teacher who can take in consideration the individual physical characteristics of the student so as to suggest different types of approach. I refer to the shape of the mouth, flashing or less of the lips, teeth, etc. etc. I will try to indicate the general rules that will adapt the most situations. Perhaps it may surprise, but the embouchure doesn't play a fundamental role. There are other very important aspects that involve the entire respiratory system. The lips have a very important main function to avoid the dispersion of air, but we go step by step. As for the position of the ants, also for the embouchure, we have musicians who adopt different techniques. There are two main settings, from my point of view, both valid, even complementary. Then will we understand why. The first setting that I would like to describe is probably the most widespread one. I would call single embouchure. The mouth should be relaxed and ajar. The separation of the upper and lower dental arch should not exceed about one centimeter and it is not necessary to extend the lips for a horn. As for the mechanicality of the mission, we can say that the lips have a very simple function, being in practice like gaskets, that prevent the hair from not escaping laterally and thus risking to disperse precious air, allowed to blow and breath in through the holes of the instrument. Initially, you will encounter considerable problems in try it into a single hole and then emit a single sound. But not be discouraged, but instead pursue this goal with confidence alternating rest pauses that at this stage allow the muscle of the lips and cheeks not to stiffen, perhaps helping with a short muscle to the mouth with his hand, like this, very simple. The simple action will help to disperse the accumulated tension before continuing with the study. Even a small and short break can be a great benefit. Among the possible experiment, it could be helpful to try a small movement of the jaw for a horn, but very, very, very small and without creating tensions. Arrange the lips to the harmonica, resting them slightly on it. In this way, we will lose the possible tension resting, resting the lips on the mouthpiece, maintaining, however, the circular shape. In time, we will memorize this posture initially difficult and we will succeed with their practice to find this position faster and more surely. Initially, it is good to start practicing in the second octave in all number five. This will be the zone less complicated than the rest of the instrument 
as it is more balanced as a mission and dispersion of air. Internally, the mouth, or rather the oral cavity, will have an important responsibility in the type of color that will characterize our sound. We will understand it over time. For the moment, bang. We keep our tongue below the lower incisor with a slight opening of the lips, the half open teeth, and the tongue resting at the bottom to attain a certain volumetric width in our oral cavity. Let's make sure that the tongue does not stiffen, for example, pointing towards the upper palate or remaining suspended in midair or curling up in our mouth. All actions that create an effort and unnecessary tension in the attempt to play. Like the lips as the tongue, they will have a passive role in this phase, since we will only have to memorize our basic settings and emit a sound from our instrument without excessive tension and effort. As we said earlier, in general, the single embouchure is the most widespread and immediate for those who approach the harmonica. With the covering embouchure, in practice we will not have the lips that surround the hole we would like to play, in which we put in or drown air, but the mouth will be open so as to allow the tongue to plug one or more holes, leaving laterally on the right almost or with the right, the possibility of being able to blow and aspirate it through the hole that we would like to play. This embouchure is routinely used by some musicians to play single notes, but in any case it must also be known by harmonicists who usually use the single embouchure if they want to learn how to play doubles notes like fifths, octaves, etc. This covering embouchure has an indubbed advantage, namely that of having the mouth already prepared for the emission of double notes. In fact, who plays with a single embouchure will inevitably have to prepare the mouth differently for this result. In some passages this may be difficult or otherwise annoyingly perceptible musically, for example, having to interrupt a musical ligation to realize such a change of setting in view of such necessity, not being able to make such change elsewhere. From one single note, single embouchure, to octave covering embouchure. From one note covering embouchure to octave covering embouchure. It is also true that on some B chords that are on adjacent holes there will be in fact the opposite situation, since it will be necessary to execute them without covering with the tongue, also because with tongue they will be less comfortable to perform. From single note single embouchure to third single embouchure. From single note covering embouchure to third single embouchure. For this reason, I consider it essential to suggest 
especially to those who intended to use and deepen the polyphonic possibilities of the harmonica to learn these two technique positions. Now that we have got the harmonica right and we understand how to arrange the lips, we just have to try and make a sound from our instrument. In this moment we have to familiarize with the harmonica, so initially we don't have to worry about which notes to perform. We try to hold it in our hands to find our position, to aspire and inspire, trying to make a sound at a time. There are a number of errors that are quite typical, but it would be very complex and complicated to list them all here. You will find more information on my book. Then I would like to suggest you an important thing. The main thing is not to act quickly and not apply too much force, especially in inspired notes. You don't have to suck the hair, but let it pass through the harmonica gradually and continuously. Do the same with the notes blow gradually. Once you generate the sound, keep it with the steady breathing. Remember it, it isn't a wind instrument, but a breath instrument. The beginning can be complicated, indeed it often is. We list a series of problems that might arise and remember some of them previously discussed. This is, is a situation that often presents itself to those who begin. The factors may be different and I will try to list them. Try to emit the sound without attack the note, asserting, inspiring and aspiring, contained and progressive. Keep the tongue in a low resting position. Do not keep it raised in the center of the oral cavity. Care must be taken not to tilt the harmonica up or down with respect to the mouth. Extend your lips more, relax, relax. Reduce the opening of the mouth and check the centering on the hole. A simple expedient frequently at the beginning is to use the tip of the tongue to center the hole in which we want to play. Holding the harmonica a few inches from the mouth we won't do anything but extend the tongue out of the mouth and insert the tip of the tongue into the hole we want to play. Once this is done, always keeping the tongue in the hole, we bring the harmonica to the lips and once the tongue is withdrawn, we will have the hole in question centered and ready to be played. Let's get used to breathing naturally. The hair must be passed through the instrument unimpeded. Let's start our breathing, and in particular the aspiration, from the stomach, more precisely the diaphragm.
These are the most common difficulties, but obviously it is not possible to make an exhaustive list also because there may be specific individual physical characteristics that must be addressed and solved by the teacher. Well, right now it's all folks. See you soon on next tutorial. Ciao!